so I've come on um, just now to do a bit of a project share with you um, I'm been involved in this swap I am involved in the group but I've been involved in this swap on Shabling Vintage and Lakes. I will leave the Facebook group um, the link to that group in the description bar below but the the challenge was to create um, a love letter stack so basically you had to do um, specific measurements of the envelopes and you had to do a stack of envelopes now the minimum of envelopes you could do is three and then depending on how many you wanted to do you could do up to five seven it just depended on how up to you um, Paula who run the group hi Paula sweetheart she did give us um, a guide and she did show us on one of the lives on how to create these now I've never ever created a love letter stack before and I was really really interested to see how mine would turn out and I to be honest I've never received one in the post and I've never made one so I didn't know what to expect for neither now you might have seen but I've had my love letter stack in the post today and if you haven't seen that it should be up on youtube somewhere on my channel but i had that from the lovely lorna and we were paired up with the same person so i'm going to show you what i've made for lorna so first of all lorna <laughs> hi sweetheart um i was thinking well how do i sort of wrap um this up all nice for her so i wrapped mine up um in a bit of a doily um it's like a doily placemat sort of thing so i wrapped mine up in that um, and then i've got some other bits and pieces to show you uh, to go alongside it as well so let's unwrap it to see what i have actually created so i went with three love letters um i was going to add a bit more on top but i'm i really i'm playing with two sort of ideas at the moment and because I want to send this off in the post, I'm already late as I am. And um, because I want to send this off, I'm, I don't want to be dithering about what I want to put on top. So Lorna, that might be a little bit of a surprise for you when you receive it. Um, because at the moment I'm diff debating. So I'm going to show you um, how I've created the, the envelopes and um, what I did to get there. So these envelopes are, now I went with the bigger size that Paula gave us, these are 8 by just under 4 inches and I didn't have, I didn't have envelopes to that size, I only had envelopes to this size which is eight by eight so what i did is i folded this in half and i cut it in half and then that gave me two envelopes to work alongside with and that's how i created my envelopes because i didn't have envelopes to that specific size so mine no you it was totally up to you whether you stuck them together whether they were loose whether you wanted to make them to open whether you wanted to make them close whether you even wanted the top one to open or all of them to be closed or whether you wanted them to have uh, be a decoration or whether you wanted them to be useful that was totally our choice um so the measurements we had to do were to a specific size the colour and the style and all that that jazz, um, you had to ask your partner for. Now, Lorna had recently said that she liked the colour blue and she liked vintage. So what I went down with the road with was vintage blue and I worked with that. So, like I say, I've created the envelopes because I didn't have any envelopes of that size. Now, all my envelopes are stuck together however they do all open so i have created all the envelopes using this sort of method um they've all done my little bits of ephemera some of this the envelopes have this which is like um paper that i've tea stained and cooked and crumpled up 
um, the ones underneath show you without breaking it and uh, I've got music notes the one underneath that has got like just different bits and pieces and it, that's what the back looks like so as you can see I've picked up the blues so you can't really see that much paper um, you can see like little you know bits and pieces of it um, and I have put um, fabrics between it as well I decided to get my old blue police fabrics out and I decided to use it that way. So like I say, they all um, open. Now the wax melts, I have actually got um, a love wax melt. She basically melt the wax and get this specific stamp and you stamp it on and it creates the letter word in love and it looks really old. So what I did, um, I messed it up on purpose because I wanted it to seem like somebody had drizzled the um, wax across and didn't quite get it to seal. So like I say, they all open. Now, because Lorna had said to me she liked the, the vintage, um, in my mind, back in the olden days, when something was open, they used to slide it open with a knife. So I went with that sort of idea. So I'll start off with the bottom, and I'll pull out the bottom pieces. So that is the envelope. Now they're all decorated inside and Lorna can take them off if she so wishes because all they're together with are a piece of um, foam tape. So I wasn't sure whether do I stick them, do I you know, use them. I didn't know what to do. So I went with the fact that Lorna can take them apart if she wishes. All she just have to do is just be really careful and they do pride, pride apart. So she can do that if she wishes. So some of the um, fabric, most of them have got some uh, sari silk fabrics just laying inside. Because I thought if with vintage envelopes, um, I was thinking of like army and um, would somebody send them like the shirt of their sleeve and you no know, um, bits of material to sew. That's what was going through my mind and sewing well anyway that's what was going through my mind so each of the envelopes have different ephemera in so this one i've created a bit of a, a paper clip and i've curled the one side of it and i put through a bit of um piece of fabric then i've just you know just put it through for decoration purposes now these are bits of ephemera so I'm going to lower you down for you to see what they look like. So there's that one with all the dates of the year and all the months of the year. There's these ones. Now, most of these I had from the lovely Lorna, Laura, Laura, <laughs> and she is tailor-made journals on Etsy. And um, it's a PDF um, ephemera. That you can download and then reuse it at your own liking really so most of these are from her and then i've got i've done all the back and she, how she does it is how lorna would get this off is she just lifts this up and it comes off and it doesn't wreck the paper underneath so that's how i've done it and this is just a notebook again i've just drizzled the wax over old page of, of my book and this so happened to have like rail and what the word railway meant and all that so i've got that one there i have this one which is just an old book page the lady of the lake there's a poem that's what my stamp turns out to be when when I do actually print it properly. And then that's that side. Now I know that Lorna... Law, I'm going to get them too confused now. Law, Lorna, the lady that I make them for, she does a lot of... works a lot with ephemera. So that's where I was going with it. Because I was wondering what do I put inside the envelopes? And then I thought, oh, I know what she would like. There's bits out of like journal ephemera that she could use. These, they came from Laura of the Lady of Etsy, Taylor Made Journals. Um, I'll leave that link in the description bar below. 
I've teared them on the sides and then this is just ink. This is Tim Holtz ink. But um, I showed this to Rian, who's Mrs G, and she said, oh, you burnt that? No, that's what the look I was going for. I haven't burnt it. And then I've just used the Tim Holtz um, ephemera pieces to add on ink to the back so she can play and just have fun, basically, with it. There's this piece which this pops up so if she wanted to put it that into a book all she would have to do is just uh, place that on and she's there basically halfway there there's this one and then there is this one fancy good novelties toys and uh, toys and dolls because i thought if somebody's posting there perhaps they would have seen this um you know on a posted note and think oh more you know my children would love to go there i'll send it to their mum. so that's what went through my mind anyway with these bits and pieces so i have all this is going into envelope number three and i'm just gonna pop pop all this back the way i had it And the paper clip, curling the paper clip over, that's really easy to do. And then the bit of a fan So that goes in envelope number three. Envelope number two, which is this one, gets a bit chunky and they're all different. Like I said, they're all different inside. So in envelope number two, we have a bit of more sari silk fabric. We have this one, I've actually used twine and then wrapped it round. So I take all this off. Now these, I made the post, the, the ephemera pieces of Flora, of Etsy. Um, and then I gessoed over them, inked them, gessoed over them again. And then I used that wax stamp again, then over the top. I put a stamp on this. Because collect, I'm collecting stamps at the moment, that's my end thing. Stamped on the back and gessoed then over the back of that. So there's that one. All these are done exactly the same way. Inked and then gessoed. And these are all ready for her to do whatever she wants to do. Um, all different stamps. That's got a dead mark stamp on. Again, like a burnt piece. That's the way I've just ripped it and then inked over the edge. There's that piece, dead mark stamp again, that's what that looks like on the back, that's what that one looks like, and then stamped on the back. This one, I have a really old newspaper in my drawer, and because I'm working with ephemera, I wanted to put this in, um, because they used to keep articles back in them days for specific reasons. Um, and this is from the 1940 um, Daily Sketch magazine. So, yeah, I thought Lorna would have much, loads of fun um, with that in, a, in one of her journals or whatever she wants to use it for. This is that one. And then this one, I really went lightly with the gesso because I wanted the white wash, but I didn't want to go crazy with it. And then on this one, I got um, dipped my fingers in the black ink. I really got messy with it. And then I went on the side. Um, my thought was, like, if somebody was down the mines or something, they would have, like, their fingers would be black. So if they were picking a letter up, more or less, they would have fingerprints on their letters. So I swear I went with that one. So let me just, so there's two, so in the third one I have more, more fabrics, there's more sari silk, more sari silk, this is another piece of sari silk, and then in this one, again I've just created like different pieces. I just went that like that with the wax stamp and then punched on it. I wasn't I wasn't trying to be careful. 
some of these are inked some aren't that's um, a Tim Holtz collection piece that one is this one I've added my stash for quite some time I think this was uh, one of those PDF things off Etsy this one I've um, stuck that on top because I thought if she put that on the side she'd be able to do all sorts with that stamp that on the back this one was a um, napkin and then I transferred it onto card and it feels like uh, fabric so another piece that was on my packaging um, a bit of ephemera there and I've stamped it so they are together but she can easily pull that apart and I don't want to do it in because um, I'm not going to get the stamp exactly where I need to be that was another piece of ephemera this has come from an old book again um, ripped and then inked but it does look as if I've burnt it um, this was one of the ephemeras from Laura <laughs> from Etsy and um, I just thought this looked like a medal of honor letter and it looked really cool to me so I put that in this one is a standard typewriter and it's got like all the um, advertisement of a type a typewriter and then underneath it was a st mary's high school post report card so it says underneath and then this is an in in inventory into i know what i'm trying to say with everybody's um names down one side it's no with everybody with everything on the sh um a farm so you've got like hay hogs sheep mules cattle horses timothy clover millet and all that and then it says gross value and that's where they would fill it in net value um and then they'd go all the way across and then i just thought if somebody saw that they want to become a typewriter i've been on the farm for so long perhaps they've just stuck it and left it so those are my ephemera pieces that i have handed well that will be going in the post tomorrow with the lovely um to the lovely Laura Lorna Laura sorry guys for getting your names confused and this is what the envelopes look like so like I say um Lorna you can part these you know I haven't stuck them so you I can't part them that you can um and you are able to um because they're all they're stuck with basically is a bit of um double-sided tape that's it um but she can you know she could do all sorts she wanted with them and then i've used various stamps and that's how i've achieved it so yeah i've had loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of fun with this project um it's been one of them that like i said never made one before always wanted to make one and i um, was a bit nervous so I've made all this. This was the project. So I didn't need to send anything or make anything extra. But I have. So let me show you what I've made extra. I'm just going to pop them up there. So the first thing I made, because it's Easter, um, it was a little um, notebook, basically. So I hold it like that. I've done a bit of a patchwork in. So I've used, um, I had some daffodil fabric. So I've used some daffodil fabric, I've used the plain fabric, and I had some beautiful uh, ribbon that I've used as seam minding. Now it's not supposed to be perfect, because I thought that Lorna, Lorn, Laura, sorry guys, I knew I'd get confused because your name sounds similar, see. Um, she would, maybe she would like to add to the book. So that's why I haven't really completed it. So I thought she may like to add to it. So what I've done on this section, it does open out, is made of fabric. Um, this section is all gessoed. I've used various different uh, pieces, just like I've done the envelopes. This word says remember. I've used zigzag stitches all the way around. There is a pocket. Show you. There is a pocket there that she can slip things into and i'll show you where the other pocket is this is all like just plain paper that i've just inked around the edges and then i've just sewn it in in the middle because there isn't that many pages for it to be a journal of sorts and then this piece i've um 
this like it was a small buckler basically I'd made this is a pocket just there like so so I might leave a piece in there so Lorna knows what to leave in there mm -hmm. Lorna knows exactly where what pieces where the pieces go leave that there and I'm going to leave this one in there like so so yeah there's a pocket there and you can put as many in there and then the back of that little buckler I've used different ephemera pieces a bit of fly fabric I had and it just closes so I've made and created that and then to go like so it was like oh do I send anything else shall I send anything else was going through my mind now Paul was always saying and I'm always saying to the group please don't go crazy with the extras so I haven't so instead I worked on how I would present this to her how it would get posted to her and this is what I've created now I can't show you the front because I've actually stamped um, using letter by letter her address on the front but I can show you the back so this is the envelope that is going to be sent in um, I had my inspiration from something I bought on Etsy where I bought a uh, a pack of journal mixed media stuff and it was all done in a bit of an envelope like this I can't find it to be able to show you but it was all done I can't reach the basket sorry it was all done in an envelope similar to this um, and because Lorna said she Laura Lorna said she liked um, blue and she loved vintage I just thought um, that would be perfect if I sent it because she'd be able to cut it down Lorna sorry she'd be able to cut it down um, and reuse it and, and, and what I've done is I've stuck it all down and I stuck it all down again and over the top I gessoed over that and then I even um, stamped with inks over that and then did a clear whitewash of glue over that so even if it rained it's not going to come off um so yeah that is what it's getting sent into so i cannot wait for her to receive it and i can't wait to hear what she thinks of the envelope um and how i've sent it to her so yeah that's what it's going to get sent into and yeah i'm really looking forward to um sending this like i said i've never made one before i am a bit nervous of sending it off just because i've never made one before and just hope she really likes it <laughs> um so yeah let me know what you think um like i say i'm a bit nervous i'm like oh shall i start again and then angie said don't be so silly yours is beautiful send it off because i was a bit hesitant um so yeah let's see what lorna thinks of um my stacked envelopes um please comment below let me know what you think and um yeah i am a bit nervous and i will catch you all in my next video have a lovely day wherever you are in the world and until next time speak to you all then bye for now ladies bye